fear is a tool. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. Hello everyone, this is each Korean channel, and as you can see, it takes up the entire screen. This is LEGO DC's The Batman, number 76181, and it is Batmobile with the Penguin Chase. I was actually planning to get this LEGO set around the time I got the Batcycle set, but then, um, like the next day I went into Target, it was gone. Uh, like if you remember my Batcycle video. But yeah, I've been wanting to get this for a while now, ever since I, I, um, like started getting LEGOs again. Okay, so here is the sides here. So yeah, you can thank my parents for that. I, I, I really thank them for this. And what I think it's funny is that on Lego boxes, um, I've always wondered what this was, but after working at Target, <laughs> I, I now know what that little line is. But um, yeah, so here is the back. I like, what the heck? Oh, it's dead. I like what they did here. They recreated one of the like promotional uh, pictures used for Batman and his Batmobile, so they did a really good job on this. And I think it's a pretty interesting feature that they even included little missiles to come out of the grill there. But anyways guys, I'm so excited to get into this because I loved this Batmobile in the movie. So let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into this. This set comes with three bags, a separate bag for the exhaust pipes. I know that these have a name, I just can't think of the name for it. Let me know in the comment section below. One instruction page and a sticker sheet. Well, anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into this set because I'm really excited. So these are the main figures that come with the set, Batman and Penguin, and let me get into Penguin first. Now, I don't know why they gave him a rocket launcher, but I understand it's Lego's thing, they tend to do things that are not from the movie, but uh, the accurate thing is that he has a Uzi, that's the only thing I can um, not nitpick about, it, or at least it looks like an A version of a Uzi, but it's fine. But um, yeah, besides that, I think the Penguin looks great, uh, not, not a big fan of stud shooters, and it's gone. I've never been a big fan of stud shooters or something like this. But um, yeah, so let me get the accessories off of him. So this is how he looks without anything in his hands. Some good face printing, like a lot of good printing on the minifigure in general. They did a really good job on this. And here is the back. And he also comes with a, a second face. also good as well now y'all have already seen this minifigure before in my um um uh, lego bat cycle set um and i did have a couple complaints about this minifigure but if you want to know what my complaints were about this minifigure go ahead and check in the description below for my lego bat cycle video and here he is without the cape the details look very nice i love the design on the suit like miniature wise they did a really good job on this I just realized that the scrap hook in the back, they did a good job on that. And as always, he comes with a secondary face, but hang, actually hang on, let me show you the regular face. And then we get into the smirking face. That's like your like typical Batman minifigure headpiece. Um, but the second headpiece is like the other Lego set that I got, this is him and his Bruce Wayne look. I think they chose the perfect hair piece for this. They did a, a good good choice for that one. And he also comes, or has a second secondary face. And with the events that take place in the movie with the Batmobile, I think the second headpiece and with the Bat Cow looks a lot better 
like this. Now, uh, now obviously you have to like fix something with the eyes, but facial expression wise, I think this is more fitting for the Lego set. Sorry guys, just realized I've made a minor mistake. It was supposed to be like this, not like this. It's supposed to be like this. Okay, let's com let's continue filming the video.
I loved the process of making this thing. Now, it's not LEGO Speed Champions level of building, but it was still very enjoyable to make. But yeah, so here is the Batmobile from the 2022 Batman film, or for those who would say the Reeves Batman film or the Robert Pattinson Batman film, uh, because I know that a lot of people have different ways of saying the Batman movie. But yeah, so here's the front. I like what they did there. Uh, like, it doesn't look good, like, straight on like this, but from this angle, it looks pretty good. Right from the sides, it looks amazing. Uh, I don't have, um, okay, so if you have seen my a speed build video on the R34 Skyline, I ended up making a, a complaint saying that there were too many stickers. This, however, um, I do feel like there were were too many stickers but at the same time it's like it was enough like it, it was needed like um i can't th can't think of the right way to say it it's like there there was a lot but it was necessary compared to the r34 skyline where it was just all over the place where where it could have just been printed but um yeah i love this very much they did, did a really good job on this i love the back as well what I also love about this is that you can take the power blast pieces off so you can get a good look at everything back here. Like, that is really good. They did a really good job on this. Now, even though this is very simple pieces, I loved it. They did a good job on this. And so here's the other side. Now, like I said, you can take the power blast pieces off. Now, it's going to look weird because these pieces are sticking out, but who cares? It's the freaking Batmobile. But this is how. Oh, hang on, let me fix that. And put that back there. Okay, so probably gonna have the same issue here. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. There. Now that's how it looks without the power blast pieces. It looks really good with and without the power blast pieces. And now let me show you all the the interior here. Let me get Batman out. It's very simple now i do like um how you're able to sit two people um into this car now with the the 007 aston martin video i did for lego speed champions i like that they had multiple seats in these uh compared to the fast and furious ones where the extra seat was mainly used for nos which i understand because that's how it was in the movie but i like lego sets to actually have other spots for other main figures so yeah, there's the interior there. Not really much to look at. And there is the back. Now, over here, I can probably take a guess. I can just store the battering piece in there. Be but besides that, I don't think there is any other use for it there. But, but yeah, it's a really good build. I love how this works. And uh, actually, hang on. I forgot to point out one other thing. I love that they actually did this. That you can actually turn the wheel. <laughs> Just by uh, moving this piece around. So I like how they did that. And uh, another win for me is that it's actually held down by these little stud pieces. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't... Okay, if you have seen my R34 Skyline video, I've made a complaint saying that I don't like how these are exposed. But the Batmobile is the only one that can make an exception for it. Because the Batmobile is like the only vehicle where it's like... Like... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's built to look, like, not finished. And, like, that's pretty much how it looks in the movie. It looked like it wasn't really finished. It looked like it still needed more work, but still maintaining that very, like, mean look. So, I, I, I'm completely okay with these being exposed. But, um, but one of the hidden features that's on here is that, uh, these, um, I can't think of the name for these. Like, I haven't messed with these in a long time. I forgot the name for it. But if you push here, you'll actually be able to push these Lego missile pieces. And they're all gone. But, but yeah. It, like, this part here, it's going to bother me or bother you. However you look at it, because it's going to be pushed down. But besides that, it's not really going to be noticeable unless you're looking from up top. So... I think you should be fine on that part there. And like I said, when it comes to expressions for Lego Batman, this is pretty fitting. 
But anyways, guys, if you all enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe because it helps motivate me to bring more content to guys in the future. Read the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And share this video with your friends and comment down below what did y'all think about Lego DC's The Batman Batmobile with the Penguin Chase set. And have fun, stay safe, stay crazy, my fellow Batman out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.